Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. And I think to myself, what a wonderful So today's video is going to be the introduction to my project wax for 2021. So I hadn't seen many project panning uh, activities going around around candles or wax and I was actually inspired to do this video by my friend here on YouTube, Ashley Nicole, and she's doing a project wax using candles and wax. Um, for her to get through some of her inventory and I want to do the same thing. I have I think 46 or 48 candles. So I'm going to start off the project by introducing 10 candles at a time. So I will always have 10 candles going in this project and anytime I use up a candle I will immediately replace it with something else to start using it. So the first one I'm going to introduce you to is actually back here. It's already burning. It is Goose Creek's White Icing Cinnamon Roll. This one smells really, really good. And I've really only burned it a handful of times. So I want to get a lot of burning done on this candle because it's huge. It's going to last for a very long time. So I want to start it off in January just by using it whenever I can. And um, hopefully I will get through it in this year. I know those big giant jar candles last for a very long time. So I just want to get some steady progress on it. Doesn't mean I'm going to finish it in the next probably six months but I do want to get some use out of it. The next thing I'm going to introduce is actually, this was in my project Use It Up for the fall. This is Blessed Pumpkin Pecan Waffles, and I did not finish it in the fall, but I did get pretty far, and I've been bringing this pretty steadily anyways, um, so I'm pretty far way down. I am going to mark all of these with a Sharpie here in front of you, so it is right here here starting off the project we're right here it's probably not gonna last more than like five burns um which is good i need some gimme products if i'm gonna um you know continue to be motivated with this project i gave myself a few gimmies just because i know that they are gonna go quick um and i'll replace them after they're finished but first one is pump i mean no second one is pumping pecan waffles this is maple syrup golden waffles pumpkin spice and brown sugar this just smells like uh waffles and syrup to me so it's a really good one it's definitely not like a fall exclusive candle so i'm fine with burning it whenever um the next one that's also kind of a gimme is pumpkin peanut brittle i have been obsessed with this probably since november um it is pretty far down it smells so good um Tina Delicious said it smells like Ritz crackers and peanut butter, and I get exactly those same notes. It's Ritz crackers and peanut butter. If they come out with this again next year, I will definitely pick it up, but the notes are crunchy caramel brittle, salty peanuts, and toasted pumpkin seeds. It just smells so good. I've found myself, um, I have found myself burning this a lot more often in December, which is weird because this was like definitely a fall candle, but I, I don't consider it a fall scent. I definitely could burn this year round and I really wouldn't, you know, feel weird about it. So this one will probably be gone again in like five uses or so. So that's a good one. And then um, these two are actually already in my project use it up for the winter. Um, and that is spiced gingerbread and cinnamon caramel swirl. They're really pretty. They are from last year's um, Christmas collection. Spiced gingerbread is a vanilla icing, cinnamon sugar, and fresh ground nutmeg. I got pretty far. Um, this is the line that I had on it from the beginning of December. So this is the line now, and I'm going to mark it right here. I'm actually going to record my project, use it up right after this. So um, I got pretty far in a month, so I think in the next month I can probably finish it. Um, but I feel like I don't want to bring this into next year because I feel like I won't want to burn it past July. I barely want to burn it right now because it's so spicy. But it's a really, really good candle. And these wicks scare me because it did dead out on me once. And I um, did the cotton ball method where you take some of the um, melted wax and you put a cotton ball in there and you take it out so you can get rid of some of the wax in there. So the wicks have a chance to breathe, but I don't know if it's going to last all the way. And it kind of did get discolored in the, last, in the last burn. So I don't know about that one. That one might not last very long, but we shall see. And then cinnamon caramel swirl, which I burned maybe two times. I didn't get too far um, on this one since December 1st. Um, but this one is gooey caramel, grated cinnamon, vanilla bean, maple brown sugar. It really just smells like caramel to me, like a spicy caramel, I guess, or like a cinnamon roll. So these two will probably, they smell almost the same, but this one has definitely more caramel in it than the um, Goose Creek one but this one is in the project and we'll see how much I can use up of that one. 
The next one I have is Pumpkin Donut Shop. Now, this one was so good in the fall. Um, the notes are glazed donuts, warm pumpkin spices, and sprinkled with powdered sugar. I just think it smells like a powdered sugar donut, like the little Debbie ones that you get. Mm, it is delicious smelling. I could burn this all year round, so I'm gonna mark it. There is like some wax residue on the side that I couldn't get off la in the last burn, so I am gonna mark it down here where it's starting at. And this one will not be hard for me to burn either just because it's so sweet. Mm, it smells really, really good. It just smells like a donut basically. And I figure I might actually burn this with some of my coffee scented candles, which I do have two coffee scented candles in this project. The first one is Christmas Morning from DW Homes. This is a large three wick, um, low profile three wick, I think is what they're called because it's so short, that's a low profile. Um, this one I got last Christmas before I knew to, you know, burn it while it all pulls out. So it, it will definitely never pull out all the way, but that's okay. I'm actually really far down on this one. I think I am right about here, but this one, um, every time you burn it, it doesn't really go very far down since it's so wide. So I probably still have maybe five or 10, uh, burns on this one, but yeah, it just smells like cafe au lait. That's what I think it smells like. It just smells like coffee and milk. So this is a really good one. I could burn this at any time of day, any time of year. Well, actually, it's actually really nice on weekends. I burned this yesterday on Saturday and it was really nice. I just laid in bed most of the day and uh, watched TikToks and watched some Bridgerton. Um, but this is really nice to have burning on like a weekend. So, But I think that the pumpkin um, donut shop and the coffee candles will go really well together. So then I have three of the single wicks in this project. I have pumpkin spice latte, which I might also burn with the donut shop candle. This one to me just smells like coffee. It does, I don't get any pumpkin spice from it. Yeah, I don't get any pumpkin spice. And the notes are fresh espresso, pumpkin pie spice, whipped cream, and sprinkling of cinnamon sugar. Yeah, maybe some whipped cream actually. And this one has been um, very sooty. I don't know why. And the single wicks, I always have a hard time getting all of the wax to pull out. So yeah, we'll, we'll see if we can get that to happen. But I'm about at the halfway mark on this candle. And um, I do like the single wicks, but I find that they're, they're really hard to pull out. So I don't know. Um, but that is pumpkin pie, no, sorry, pumpkin spice latte. Um, and then I have this other single wick in peppermint marshmallow. I have been loving this for December. It is so good smelling. Mm, it is, oh, actually there's no notes on this one. I think they stopped doing the notes on single wicks. I'm not sure why, but I want to say it's like fresh marshmallow, peppermint, something else. I don't remember. I'll try to put the notes down if I can get it from the website, but it's just like a basic marshmallowy with a little bit of peppermint to it. Um, I really like this one. I've been doing it for like my um, self pamper days, just a little marshmallow while I'm taking a bath. It smells really good. And then the last candle in this project, which is kind of like really random, it's just a Glade Warm Flannel Embrace candle. I got it from, where is it from? I don't remember what it's called, but I will put the name down here, but I got it for 250 there and um, I was not smelling their candle section and this reminded me of my ex so I bought it it was a weak moment I know and I bought two of them <laughs> but uh yeah so if I want to smell manly I can burn this one but I just want to get it out of my collection because I don't want to smell that anymore <laughs> so that was a little weak moment for Victoria she bought a candle that smells like her ex Anyways, so yeah, there's a uh, Glade Warm Flannel Embrace, and yeah, we're gonna try and get rid of this one. These Glade candles honestly do not throw, like, at all, because I've burned this a few times, as you can see. And actually, let me go ahead and mark it while I'm here. I didn't mark the single wicks. So let me go back and mark Peppermint Marshmallow, which also did not pull out very well. Um, so I think it's, like, right here, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. These glade candles, they don't really pull out very well and they don't really smell very strong, which this is like a strong manly scent. So I'm very surprised that it's not throwing strongly. Like for the scent, you would think that it would, but it doesn't. So yeah, it's kind of confusing, but 
yeah, it smells really good. It just kind of, it's kind of eucalyptus-y too. It's fern, sandalwood, and cardamom, but I kind of get almost like eucalyptus mint vibes from it with mixed with like sweater weather or something. So yeah, this would have been really good for fall, but I just like didn't even think about it. I think I got this in the summer of last year when I was just buying candles like crazy. But yeah, um, we'll try to get through this and I'll probably put the next Glade candle in this project too to get rid of that one as well. But that is it for my project wax. I will be starting off with these 10 candles and I will update you guys monthly on what I get through, what progress I've made, what I'm introducing, all that kind of stuff. So I would really love it if you guys join me in this. Um, Ashley Nicole also does this over on her channel. So go follow her if you love wax content and, um, yeah, let me know down below some candles that you're working through. I know I went a little crazy on candle day, so I need to get rid of some of my candles, not get rid of them, I need to use them up and enjoy them before they go bad so I can buy more candles next year. So thank you so much for joining me for this video. If you liked it, give me a like, comment, and subscribe down below, and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.